So, hey guys, Bats here, and today we are back with another drug story, and we are continuing the Robo30 binge story series that I have just started. So, <clears throat> at this point, you know, it. I have had uh, the Robo30s for just a few days now, and I have just been, you know, extremely irresponsible with them and just taking them at you know at any portion just any time that i feel like i'm coming down i just took more and yeah so at this point i had you know i had gone through like whole ego death and all that and then you know this time um it got a little scary so let's get into it so <laughs> um basically this morning starts and uh you know, I kind of, like, robo-walk out and, you know, like, awkwardly to go get some food and somehow manage to not, like, fall into a wall and, you know, <laughs> make it back and then get into my, into the studio to watch some videos while I'm eating my cereal and, you know, look normal enough while my cousin is leaving and then he leaves and he goes to work and I'm like, all right, bet, and then I, so I whip out the robo-30s and I count, it out, I count it out, and I take, like, 300 milligrams. And I'm like, all right, bet. that's We're going to take another 300 for the day. You know, got to keep it going. And, <laughs> you know, so then I'm just chilling there, just still, you know, watching shit and, you know, vibing. And it, it starts, you know, it, like I said, it, robo robotabs come on really fast. It just starts coming up really quickly, but it was, like, it was super intense. It was, like, way more intense than I've ever felt it. It was, like, uh, it was, like, alarming, you know? And my heart started being super fast, and my, like, it felt like my, my breath was very shallow. Like, I, like, I just couldn't, like, really take, like, a, a good deep breath. It was, like, I was, you know, losing the ability to breathe. And so I was, like, oh, that's not good. And then I was, like, oh, shit. What if I what if I took too much? What if I what if I died? What if I'm going to die? You know, cuz like I'm, you know, I'm not like I'm a I'm a relatively small person, you know. I'm like fucking like 5 foot 2 and like 100 pounds, like, you know, it doesn't it wouldn't take much DXM at this point with no tolerance to just fucking absolutely kill me. Like it it just it really wouldn't so I was sitting here and I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I, maybe I killed. Maybe I did it. Maybe I fucked up. Maybe I died. Maybe this is how I die. Well, shit. It was a good run. <laughs> I, I literally I was thinking about it like it was a video game. I was like, well, you know, it was a good run. Well, we'll try again next time. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> like I, I was just so like I like I was like, it's so weird because it was like. I felt like I was gonna die, and it was like, you know, like, it felt like it was, it did definitely felt real, but also at the same time, it didn't feel real. It felt like, it was like a weird in-between between, like, it being real and it not being real. And so, you know, I was like, oh, I'm gonna die, but I'll come back, <laughs> and like, like a Call of Duty revive or something, or I don't fucking know fucking reincarnation or whatever you know i don't know what the fuck my brain was doing but it was it, it go it went to a lot of weird places but eventually this like strong feeling of like you know just like dying like it, that's the best way i can describe it is like dying it, it just like slowly starts to fade away and you know, slowly I start to, like, calm down, and, like, you know, I start to, like, you know, my breathing starts to get, like, kind of normal, and my heart's still being pretty fast, but, and I'm just like, all right, maybe I'm not gonna die, all right, <laughs> maybe how, maybe I'll be fine, all right, so I decide to try and get up, and I, I'm sitting on this, like, I had this cot set up in the, in the studio as just, like, a place to sit on, and I tried to sit up from it, and I completely underestimated, you know, how messed up my coordination was, because when I tried to stand up, I completely just folded over and just fell on the ground, and 
it like it was a pretty fast fall, but it didn't hurt at all. Like honestly, I didn't feel it at all. It was just kind of like, and then I just started laughing. I was like, it was just kind of funny. It was like, oh, dude, you're such a fucking idiot. You really just you fell on the ground getting out of a cot, dude. Like what? It's like it's so stupid. <laughs> And, you know, then I start, like, I'm literally, like, crawling on the ground. <laughs> like, I'm straight up fucking army crawling on the ground to the door. <laughs> and, like, eventually I pull myself back up and I'm, like, holding myself on the walls and shit. And I, like, got myself uh, some cereal. And I went back and I go back in and I start watching a video about uh, the back rooms from Nick Crowley. <laughs> And then at this point, I was completely convinced that I was in the back rooms as he kept talking about the back rooms. My visuals, just like the closed eye visuals, just started to become the back rooms. And I just started like thinking that like back room entities were just gonna like show up out of nowhere and fucking beat my ass or some shit. And you know, but but it was like it wasn't really like alarming, you know? I don't know, you like. It was so weird because you can you could get like in these really like s- weird states of like anxiety and like s- you know pure fear, but like at the same time you're so disconnected from it you don't really like act on it and you just like you're just kind of like oh that's not that's not good whatever <laughs> and then you just like shrug it off, but you know and then there's just like these, uh, you know, the visuals at this point, it was like, it it was like I was floating through these, like, just infinite, like, concrete hallways, and I was just going, you know, just twisting through them all over, and just geometric, like, concrete walls, just floating through them, and every once in a while, there'd be, like, a, you know, like, a vague figure of, like, a, you know, like, an entity or something, and I, you know, at at this point, because I was just listening to the backrooms video, that, to me, that, I interpreted that as I was in the backrooms. So, you know, and that didn't, like, stop until I heard something that snapped me kind of back into reality, which was my cousin's truck pulling up uh, back to the house from work. Um, so I heard that, and that kind of, like, snapped me out of it, and I, like, opened my eyes, and I'm like, oh, fuck! And I, I, like, I, like, start checking, like, oh, am I sober enough to talk to him? Am I, am I, am I good, like, does it look like I'm fucked up? And, this is, and I'm like, yeah, it clearly looks like I'm fucked up. I haven't done anything. Um, I, I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to play this off. And, well, shit. And, yeah. So, <laughs> he, he comes in. And, uh, you know, he, like, talks to me a little bit, and I, I don't know how the fuck I managed to do it, but he just, like, he, I, I guess I told him I was, like, sick or something, and he fucking left me alone, and (laughs) I got away with it for another day, but it wasn't lasting much longer, um, anyway, um, we'll get, we'll get into that in the next video, but, uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment down there. I read all the comments. I love you guys' comments. Uh, subscribe. I'd love to get this 1,000 subscribers. And uh, stay suited. Stay lifted. Peace. Cause each day it's the same thing. Walking to the function, I know everybody ate me. Yeah. And I can't lie, it's really crazy. I've been thinking about what will it be like when I'm six feet deep. Just let me sleep. I see heaven in my reach. Trying to do it for the kids, feeling just like me. Begging all my knees. Lord, help me, please. Cause each day is the same thing.